Right, hey okay, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tricks of the Trade with me, Tom Court. If you enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment on the videos, any interactions really appreciated. Okay, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about double grabs. I've done a video on double grabs before, make sure you check this link. Whilst I was out in Fuerteventura, I use a lot of double grab variations in a lot of my tricks, and I think Double grabs is a really good way to increase your own personal control and understanding of a move and your ability to really work with your body to use the correct areas of your body in order to control rotations and sort of grab movements which engage your core and you know switching hands on the bar things like that it really brings in quite a lot of advanced skills that you need in order to be able to control your kite well and to control your board well whilst in the air so I'm just going to look at a straight air seat belt tail grab in this example but the point being is that there's two grabs in there it's a simple trick it's just a straight air but i'm using the grabs to make it more technical and more stylish so let's jump in to the seat belt tail grab straight air. So like I always say, you want to make sure you're going into any trick with enough speed. In this trick, I'm actually hitting a small kicker at Flag Beach in the Canary Islands and I'm using the kicker to get a lot of the height but you can see here I slowly steer the kite up so it's going from a riding position up to about 11.30 to 12 it's not really going higher than 12 it's not a typical jump movement because I'm using a little bit of the kicker combined with my edge and then as soon as I leave the water I am letting go with that backhand getting ready to bring my front leg up towards my body so that I don't have to lean down too much to get the seat belt. Bringing my back arm across my body to contact the nose of the board, grabbing the nose of the board, and once you get that grab, really pull that grab up into your body. So as soon as you have the grab, and this can apply to any grabs that you do, as soon as you lock that grab in, make sure you put some tension through your arm and really pull that grab out to make it extended and tweaked a bit and this will add a bit of style to the trick. Remember you've only got your front hand on the bar so you wanna have the center line through the middle of your front hand so that you're not steering the kite down too much, really not doing that much with the kite except playing that D power in the center of the bar. Really lock in that seat belt grab and then switch from the nose of the board to the tail of the board with the grab and you'll also notice that the legs are switching as well and this is really important and this is sort of one of the things that I mentioned about training your grabs is that the switch between the bent front leg and the bent back leg is the difference of making the grab or not. So. You, it's a really good trick to train your leg control, kind of a little like a shifty as well. You're getting the nose and the tail of that board into the right place for that grab without affecting your upper body rotation. And you can also see here, once I release that tail grab, I do a little shifty just to get my body and board in control so that I can make sure that I land with that board downwind, that kite diving, and that you stomp it and ride away.